I'm here from City of Denton's Bike Pedestrian Office, uh, and this office with the city is responsible for bike pedestrian infrastructure, um, so such as bike lanes, uh, sidewalks, ADA accessibility features throughout the city. Um, and then a big part of this office as well is promoting bike safety um, and bicyclist safety and pedestrian safety. Um, and the reason uh, this office is really important is because we're trying to make Denton more walkable um, and more uh, bikeable to provide alternative modes of transportation for every citizen so that there's multiple ways to get around throughout the city um, and not only to get people around the city but to get them around the city safely no matter what the mode of transportation. One thing we're really excited about is uh, next or two weeks from now May 9th Wednesday May 9th at 6 p.m. we're having a cycle with the city event um, it's going to be a community bike ride uh, one of our council members council member Gregory will be riding uh, leading the bike ride and um, it's going to highlight one of our new trails that the city just opened. So um, May 9th, 6 p.m., we're meeting at North Lakes Park. We'd love to see you there. So I'm with the City of Denton's Sustainability Department. We're a small group of about four people that range in different uh, focus areas from uh, gardening and lifestyle choices to energy and water conservation to transportation and biking and recycling and all that fun stuff. So we do a whole bunch of different things. We work with residents, we work with businesses, we work uh, also just internally with other departments in the city to help uh, kind of raise the needle a little bit and helping people be more aware of uh, impacts environmentally and socially and, and trying to you know make it a better community, a better place to live. My name's Carl, Carl Gossett. I'm a volunteer and coordinator for uh, Carencia Community Bike Shop and we're a local community organization and uh, basically our main mission is we teach people how to do repairs and maintenance on their own bicycle. So we have uh, workshops. For example, I teach uh, a free weekly workshop uh, at Sprocket's uh, Bicycle Shop off the square on Hickory. It's every Wednesday nights at six. It's completely free, it's open to everyone. And you can bring your own bike with you so you get to work on your own bicycle. And it's basically teaching people how to do repairs and maintenance on their bike. We also have a booth at the Denton Community Market so we're there every Saturday mornings at uh, between 8.30 and 1 during the market hours. And we do free bike valet, so if you ride your bike to the market, you can valet the bike with us. Uh, but basically, we, uh, the point of the organization is to first teach people how to do their own work on their own bike and also encourage people to use bicycles and ride bicycles in Denton. Native, Native Plant Society of Texas, and we're the local chapter, and we meet right here on campus at the Ann Stewart Science Complex, fourth Thursday of each month, so it happens to be tonight, is one of our meetings. Uh, but we try to encourage people to use native plants versus exotic plants that are mainly sold in the nurseries. Um, because native plants are what the native wildlife depends on for food and for shelter, and also, uh, they don't require extra water, they don't require pesticides, don't require fertilizers. So they're obviously the native vegetation is much easier to grow. And uh, that's what, that's, like I say, that's what native wildlife depends on. Uh, the exotics don't provide near as much food, don't provide near as much shelter, uh, what the need, native wildlife needs. So that's why you want to grow native. So we are with tryparkingit.com. Well, try parking it. So we are a ride matching and commuter tracking website. So our whole goal is to help reduce congestion and improve air quality within the region. So we want to get people to drive by themselves less. <laughs> so if you are looking for a carpool or vanpool match, we are a resource for that. We're not like Uber and Lyft in that we're matching people with traditional carpools. Um, if you're already doing something other than driving by yourself, carpooling, vanpooling, taking transit, biking, walking, something as simple as bringing your lunch to work, that's actually having a positive impact on the environment. So um, you can track that information on Try Parking It for every alternative commute that you track, which would be the carpooling, vanpooling, biking, walking, taking transit. You can actually earn points for that. Those points can be used on the site to enter into contests as well as purchasing rewards on the site. We have an app in the Google Play as well as the Apple Store. By searching on Try Parking It, all one word, you can download the app so you can 
use it from your phone, mobile devices, or if you're interested in using it from a desktop, just go to tryparkingit.com. So I'm Celia Spalacha with Keep Denton Beautiful, and we are an environmental nonprofit that provides volunteer opportunities for students. Today, I'm here to educate people about cigarette waste. So we're giving away these little pocket ashtrays for people to use, and that will hopefully keep our cigarette butts off the ground. It's the number one most littered item in America, so we don't want them. We're also giving away these little red bud seedlings. Um, they're baby trees, and basically we're marketing them towards seniors so that when they go out into the real world, they can bring a little bit of life with them. Um, and finally, I'm just trying to promote our upcoming tree giveaway event. It's in October. And we would love to have you guys come out and volunteer or pick up a tree. We're giving away 700 trees every year. So come out and join us. Hi, I'm Rex at Harmony Hollow. And today we're talking about our pollinators, both the honeybees and native pollinators and their importance to our ecosystem. From pollinating cotton so that we can have our denim jeans to wear to our vegetables and making sure that we have enough food to eat. And then the different products that the bees provide for it also. Uh, we've got honey, wax products, uh, there's pollen and propolis, all sorts of things that they benefit or that we benefit from for the from the bees. Support your local bees by growing native plants and that way you're supporting your ecosystem. Hey, we are the Dr. Betty Myers Butterfly Garden Advisory Committee members and we are implementing butterfly gardens on our campus and so we've already have one that is near the Instrument Science Complex building and it right now it's spring and it's all blooming and it's full of native plants and so they're already attracting lots of pollinators like bees. Now that it's getting warmer there's lots of butterflies that are coming as well. Um, so we also are going to have a phase two garden that's going to be on the north side of campus and that's going to be near the TW Texas Pond and right now it's a big grassy area but it's going to be a larger garden with an outdoor classroom. It's a Yeah. So we need to thank uh, EPA for providing us the funds to uh, be able to build this uh, greenhouse, um, this butterfly garden. And uh, we also do outreach. We have two flyers and we try to uh, interest other people in the community um, and the schools in the ISD to build this uh, butterfly garden. It's very important to get their population up and that will help not only with the environment but also with prosperity of people farming or or having uh, a resource, uh, a crop resource that they rely on.